Resident Evil, a franchise that has terrified, thrilled, and captivated players for decades. From its spine-chilling survival horror roots to explosive action-packed moments, this series has delivered some of the most iconic moments in gaming history. But not all Resident Evil titles have been, well as beloved. Now, I'm not talking about the legendary mainline games like Resident Evil 2 or the universally praised remakes. Today, I'm diving deep into the underbelly of the franchise to talk about one of the most notorious spin-offs. A game that didn't just fly under the radar, it straight up crash landed. I'm talking about Resident Evil Umbrella Core. Yeah, you heard that right. The multiplayer disaster that nobody asked for, and let's be honest, nobody remembers. But here's the crazy part. With the right changes, this game could make an epic comeback. Stick around because I'm about to tell you why Umbrella Core deserves a second chance. With one big twist. First, let's get one thing out of the way, Umbrella Core was not good. Released in 2016, it was Capcom's ambitious attempt to push Resident Evil into the multiplayer shooter scene. But the results? Well, it was like trying to shoehorn a square peg into a round hole. Fans were furious, critics were brutal, and it flopped hard. On Metacritic, the game sits with a dismal score of 38 for PS4, and trust me, it earned every single one of those miserable points. The game had a laundry list of issues, stiff controls, zero depth, lackluster maps, and gameplay that was about as exciting as watching paint dry. It didn't just stray from Resident Evil's DNA. It felt like it didn't belong in the same universe. Fans wanted horror, tension, and survival. Instead, they got this. But here's the thing. At its core, Umbrella Core wasn't a bad idea. The premise was actually kinda cool. The game is set after the fall of Umbrella 13 years after, to be exact, and players take on the role of a mercenary fighting to collect the last remaining bits of Umbrella's dark research. It's got this gritty, lore-driven concept that could have connected all the Resident Evil dots in a way we hadn't seen before. Think about it. The collapse of Umbrella left a massive power vacuum in the Resident Evil universe, and Umbrella Core had the chance to explore that. Now imagine, instead of this being a rushed multiplayer mess, Capcom decides to reboot Umbrella Core as a single-player survival horror experience. That's right, folks, no more multiplayer chaos. Picture a tight, narrative-driven campaign that puts you in the shoes of a lone mercenary. You're hired by shady organizations to uncover the last remaining secrets of Umbrella, and to make it even better, you're not just fighting other mercs, you're dealing with bio-organic weapons, rogue experiments, and the ghosts of Umbrella's past. Here's where the game could truly shine. Instead of lifeless arenas, we're talking iconic Resident Evil locations, the Raccoon City Police Department, the Spencer Mansion, maybe even the labs underneath Umbrella's headquarters. These aren't just battlefields. They're haunted places full of mutated creatures and unsettling environments that you have to survive. But we're not just here for a walk down memory lane. This rebooted Umbrella core could fill in crucial story gaps. What happened to all of Umbrella's abandoned research? Who's still out there trying to weaponize the bioweapons? And how did Umbrella's legacy continue to influence the dark corners of the Resident Evil world? Of course, the biggest change we need? Atmosphere, strip away the generic shooter vibes and lean back into what made Resident Evil great tension, survival and mystery. Imagine walking through abandoned labs, the eerie silence broken only by the faint hum of long abandoned machines. Suddenly, a door creaks open and you hear something. Inhuman, a bio-organic weapon stalking you through the corridors, hunting you down, and you've only got a few bullets left. This is the umbrella core that should have been. Four six-hour single-player campaign with tight survival horror elements, brutal difficulty, and a deep dive into the lore of the Resident Evil universe. No cheap multiplayer tricks, no half-baked ideas, just pure, unfiltered horror. 
at the end of the day, Resident Evil Umbrella Corps deserves a second shot. Not because the first version was good, but because it wasn't. Capcom can use the lessons they've learned from their incredible remakes and apply them here. Umbrella's story isn't done yet, and there's still so much potential to explore. If they get it right, this could be the redemption arc Umbrella Core never got. But one thing's for sure, it can't be multiplayer. Drop the team shooter nonsense and give us the survival horror experience we know and love. Capcom, if you're listening, it's time to go back to the drawing board and give us the Umbrella Core game we deserved all along. Thanks for tuning in. Let me know in the comments, do you think Umbrella Core could make a comeback? Or is it better left buried in the past? Smash that like button if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into gaming's greatest what ifs. Until next time, stay alive out there.